Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redman TV. Liverpool lose 4-3 to Manchester United uh, at Old Trafford in the quarter-finals. And uh, I think that's one one result that should be very embarrassing for, for at least the fans. And, and, and I wouldn't say as much for the players, but you can definitely make an argument for some. Um, I, I just couldn't believe... I, I, this has been the previous five minutes of my lifetime, so the corner in the last minute for us was given and then we took the corner. Van Dijk nearly got ahead to it and then it was cleared. Then Man United started a counter-attack from right there. It was like as if I thought the problem would be fine as long as I turned off my screen. I turned my screen off and I said, right, no, I'm not watching it. Two minutes later, I proceed to go on Google and refresh. I didn't have the balls to turn the screen on again because as a neutral, you watch that and that's pinnacle of football. That's two fan bases who hate each other. One moment we're singing at you, the next moment they're singing at us. The overall game is a spectacle and it was really Manchester United versus Liverpool personified in terms of the history of both teams. But the game itself, you look at it and you just go, oh my goodness, how have you let that go? And how have you bottled the game twice as well? For a team of that experience, for a team of that know-how, I understand we, we made a few substitutions which I thought was, in hindsight, not the right ones, which is easy to say with hindsight. But I also do think that the players absolutely let the manager down. Um, not all of them again just certain players in certain moments but it's tough in a FA Cup quarter final because United just took their moments and I don't think they were particularly great today and I also don't think that we were particularly great but I definitely think in that spell in the second half we should have been far away from them so that was the first bottle of the day and then of course they go and score 3-3 three, three. that's the next bottle of the day and then 4-3, final bottle of the day. How you bottle three times in a game. It's one thing just having a few moments, but to do that f three times in a game, it's like a... Have you ever played FC24 career mode on Ultimate? And and you, there's just times where you just there's nothing you can do about it. Like, no matter how good you are at the game, it doesn't matter. Because the fucking CPU's got a mind of its own. The script writer's has a mind of its own. And I just can't believe it. It was a great game, but I just, as a Liverpool fan, I struggle to enjoy it. I struggle to enjoy the moment. Um, how do you let that go? How do you let that go? And, and and I know, I know, you've got to be like, oh, but the players, they've done well this season. They've done really well this season, but you've just lost to a team that's got no history in the previous 10 years. You've just lost to one of the worst performing teams, one of the worst goalkeepers I've ever seen. And you've just let a player who's not scored a goal in the Premier League all season score against you. Who do you think you are, seriously? I just, I really hope the players learn from an experience like today because you get your wins, you get your losses and you can't make it the end of the world. But in the moment after the game, you saw it during the match. It was back and forth. It was United, it was Liverpool. We were going back and forth to each other and you're sitting there and you're going, how the fuck have we not let this game die yet? I mean, the, the, the first 20 minutes were terrible. Don't get me wrong. And United could have even had a couple themselves. I thought um, Kobe Minu was perfect. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. I thought Ten Hag played him in the wrong role. To be honest, in the second half, playing him in the holding six, I felt you needed to play him advanced and um, let him do the work there and let him press high up the pitch. But uh, then we took control of the game and we had so many chances. And do you know what? Jürgen Klopp knew. People might have thought, why is Jürgen Klopp human? We're winning the game. It's 2-1. We're fine. Jürgen Klopp knew not taking those chances against Manchester United, as crap as they are, and they are a bad football team. I think they, their fans would say they're a bad football team. We were a bad football team as well today, but they are a terrible football team on a consistent basis. But the one thing they seem to always have, and this comes with certain clubs, it's like Liverpool, European nights, Manchester United, final big moments in the games and you know final minutes. And we've done the same. Uh, but because it was at Old Trafford, you just felt that would lean in their favour, and it did. It did. And, and, you know, players like Rashford, nothing all game, but gets the goal. And, and that's what he's there to do. He's meant to get those moments, and that's what Rashford did. Um, McTominay always seems to find a goal in those type of games where it's close and it's tight-knit. Um, and then the final 10 minutes, Anthony looked like Neymar, and it was a crazy game. So, fair, I don't even want to say fair play to United because I can't stand the cunts, honestly. They can't stand me, I can't stand that. I just don't like seeing them beat us, ever. And we haven't beat them once this season as well, bear in mind. It was a draw in the league, and then there was this game. And then you just hope this game doesn't mentally affect the players because it very well could. I mean, 
that when you when you go through an experience like that, it's traumatic. You know, you're seeing all them now. I haven't seen the celebrations of the game, and I won't proceed to watch any ma post match interviews or any highlights. In fact, I fully intend on hibernating for the next four days, the same that I have done for the past two months. But the reason why I'm doing a video is because I thought it was such a good game, and there was such massive stakes, and I really wanted to win the FA Cup. And, and do you know what I liked about the game in terms of being a football fan is that it brought back a lot of excitement for the FA Cup because. I realised during that game, United fans all sympathise. You wanted to win it, and we didn't, and they did. And it was close margins. It was a matter of chances. Another day, that would have been us. But it was it was the result it was, and I'm devastated because I hate losing to United. It's the worst thing that I can possibly think of, losing to that fucking horrible football club. And I can't stand it. I can't stand the thought of losing to them. I just, they, 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 just absolutely terrible, honestly. It will give me much less sleep tonight than what I was originally planning. Um, the praises, you know, you can give the praises to Kelleher in terms of our side of things. I thought he was fucking immense, to be honest. And, and just, you know, he did what he needed to do, but you can't underestimate a goalkeeper doing what he needs to do under an atmosphere like that. You know, it's, it's tough when one moment Liverpool fans are taking over and then next moment United fans and the players are getting hostile. And You know, I just felt it was one of those games and, and Kelleher done really well for me. Um, you know, but I thought we were slow in the transition in the midfield. I thought we got caught in the transition too many times. I'll be easy on them, but you know, players like Harvey Elliott and stuff like that not putting in the legs. Uh, the praise where I will give Harvey Elliott is that whenever he comes on the pitch, he just tries shit. Do you know what I mean? He's really good at that. And um, if it wasn't for him trying anything, then we wouldn't have got the third goal. Uh, but I felt we went very sort of uh, prey. We were the prey. They were the predators. You know what I mean? And and. That was, um, like, we were the hunted, they were the hunter. It, it, I didn't like the way we submitted to Manchester United in the final 10 minutes of the game. That's probably the biggest problem for me. And I'm aware, you know, atmosphere, away grounds, and but you've got to use that in your favour. Or you've got to learn how to in future. Because I would imagine, you know, under the new coach and the new regime... If you want to be competing in big games without the likes of Jürgen Klopp to motivate you at half time, you've got to use these experiences to excel yet as a as a player in the future. And I think that we let ourselves go today um, massively. Uh, and I don't even care about the the quadruple talks. It was never a proper quadruple anyway. I, I mean, I, I I would use it for banter and stuff like that, but you'd never be able to win them four trophies and say it's as good as City last season. You just wouldn't. It have to be the Champions League, but. We've still got a great opportunity to make the season great. I mean, you know, a league title would soften this easily. Um, you know, it is a matter of just healing. It's annoying that it's an international break. There's no gain to, to bounce back from, you know what I mean? There's no gain to forget about this performance or, you know, hopefully, like, you know, say if there was a game this weekend or next weekend, we win, United lose. You're kind of feeling back to the same place, you know what I mean? And that's not the case. There's international break. Shout out to our Joey G going out to England. And I am proud of the lads. I've tried to be restrained in um, getting at them because I've actually been really proud of them this season. And it's so easy to turn into an abusive bastard when you've just performed like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to change my approach on that. Not because of any what anyone thinks, just because, you know, I think of myself, if I'm in that dressing room and I see how tight margins that game was, yes, there's things to pinpoint, but... It's a long season. And another factor as well, Manchester United have played 12 games in 2024. We've played 18. You know, there's a big difference there in congestion. And, you know, some people will bring up the reasons of, um, like, why why is Salah playing 80 minutes against Sparta in the Europa League when we were winning fucking whatever score? Um, and, that, and that's a good point. But I, I didn't see fatigue from Salah today. Um, I just saw Jürgen Klopp make a decision that he, that he wanted to take him off. And again, I think where Jürgen Klopp went wrong was being submissive to Manchester United at Old Trafford. I don't think that's the way to play against them. I think you've got to try and match them um, and get your own moments and make them scared. You don't absorb what they're trying to get at you, man, because even though they might not be a good team, they have got mo they have got players who can get moments of individual brilliance. Uh, if you want to call it brilliance or just individual moments, I mean, Scott McTominay today, they have right moments. Do you know what I mean? Getting the goal early on and then he goes against Rashford. And you see, oh sorry, lays that ball into Rashford and it was a perfectly way to pass. And it was like Kobe Minor, he had the aura of like a young Michael Owen or Wayne Rooney. I'm not comparing them to them in terms of ability or impact. I'm just saying 
you know, when he, whenever he had the ball, he was gliding through players, like as if he, were, he looked like poor skulls. It was weird. And I just thought, OK, then, well, this is this is interesting because it's going in United's favour. So, listen to Liverpool fans who are down in this. You, you're right to be not worse than losing to United. Uh, maybe Everton because I live with them, but I can understand for, for fans who maybe don't live in Merseyside, it's horrible losing to United, man. Like, I can't imagine how London Liverpool fans feel right now. London Liverpool fans must be fucking going through at me because you've got to go in school tomorrow and they're going to be like, hey, fam, hey, hey, fucking Man United, blah, 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 bloody fucking blah, never been to Old Trafford, you cunt. Oh, my goodness. No offence to anyone who's not been to Old Trafford or, or Anfield. I understand, it's not as easy. I live 15 minutes away from the stadium, so I'm a privileged little scouser. Um, devastating. Uh, it would have been nice to have an FA Cup as well. But again... The way that this is fine and easy to forget about is if you go and win the league. Reds, it's over to you. Um, thank you for watching the video. My hair's all over the place. Kind of doing up the Beatles right now. It's kind of the phase I'm going for. And uh, consistency, who knows? Who knows? But it was nice to be on camera again. And don't just say that I don't come back for the games that we win. I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a United video today even if we lose. But I didn't think we were going to lose. And we did. Shite. Um, like the video if you want. You don't have to. I'm not doing this full time. So you don't have to support it like that. But I love you. Um... By the way. Just a little side point. Hopefully. We don't play Leverkusen in the Europa League. Because if we win the Prem in the Europa League. That's an even better bonus. But anyway. That's another topic. Love yous. Hopefully more videos soon. Sayonara. <laughs>